Hey, what's up guys? Do you want to learn how to import the car controller directly from Unity so we can use it to prototype some racing game mechanics or something of the sort? So, without further ado guys, let's get started. So, this time we're doing the car, so let's go in Assets, Import Package and go into Vehicles. In there, we'll have the option to import many things and we're just simply going to accept everything for now, but let's just take a look real quick at what's inside of there. So. Vehicles, we have aircraft and cars, in case you want to fly a plane as well. But for the sake of this video, we're simply going to be using the car. Okay, so the import is complete. Now we have two new folders, the editor folder that we're not going to be taking care of as for now, and also the standard asset folder which contains the cross-platform inputs, so we can use our joysticks, and also the vehicle folder. In there we have the aircraft and the car. So for today we want to be using the car. I'm going to open this and also inside the car folder we have all that consists of this very specific car but I will go inside prefab and drop down a car on my level just like this. So now the car is inside of my level I'm going to put it at the origin just for uh, setting purposes so 0 0 0 press F and I am going to put my camera as a children of this as well. So same thing, put the camera at 0, 0, 0 and then move it so you can see the car properly, just like this. You have the camera preview here, so make sure you use that when you're positioning your camera. And once, you, once you're okay with the positioning of your camera, simply take the camera object and drag it below car as a children. So when you close the drop down menu, the camera disappears on their children's. Okay, now let's move the car just a little bit on the ground so we can start using it. If you don't want any audio, make sure you turn off the audio listener on the camera. I have did that because it's pretty loud on my side. And as you can see now, we have the car on our screen. And make sure that everything you want to have contact with has a collider on top of it. So the Terran has the Terran collider. And uh, these roads doesn't have any collider because they're too bumpy. But as you can see, I can collide with the Terran just fine. And yeah this happened okay so let's try this out with the little jump I've made over there so these pieces of road that you can see over there they have a collider on top of it so I'll just gain some speed test out my character controller for the car and here we go Are we gonna make it and barely so this is pretty much it for the car controller guys so if you wanna have any kind of racing game prototype you can be using that all right guys so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next episode